Hey everyone, this is Jay Clark over here at Fargo 3D Printing. Now today I'm going to be showing you how to replace your Replicator 2 or your Replicator 2X motor cables. Be sure that the machine is turned off and unplugged before starting. The tools that will be required for this are the motor cables, the cable extension that comes in the kit, a crescent wrench, side cutters, 3mm hex key, a 2.5mm hex key, and a small zip tie. First we will remove the right side panel from your printer by unscrewing the six hex bolts. Next, in the back right corner of your printer, we will loosen the lock nuts that hold the plastic tabs in place. Do not remove them, just loosen them so the tabs become free to rotate. From here, we will detach the Y-axis motor as shown. Moving to the front right corner of the printer, we will now loosen those plastic tabs. Now tip the printer onto its left side. This will allow you to locate the zip tie shown that is above the right side's Y-axis rod. Cut the zip tie carefully to ensure no damage is done to the end stop cable. Once the cables are released, remove the pin locking the cables into the plastic part. This plastic part is also known as the Y-axis primary. Once this pin is removed, you can unplug the X-axis motor. Move to the motherboard cover and remove all four hex bolts followed by taking the cover off. The machine should still be on its left side at this point. If so, that should put three cables exiting the top left. Below where they exit the bottom casing, loosen the last plastic tabs lock nut. Now fish the x-axis motor cable through the hole in the upper left corner of the bottom casing. Be gentle not to damage the end stop cable while doing this. Once the x-axis is out, move to the upper right side of the bottom casing and remove the y-axis motor cable, while still ensuring no damage to the other cables. After both the x and y-axis cables are pulled through, remove their corresponding ferrites from their holders as shown. Now unplug the z-axis motor that's below the motherboard and remove its ferrite from its holder. At this time, unplug the motor cable connector that connects to the motherboard. From here we will have to remove the motherboard partway off five standoffs in order to get the z-axis motor cable out of its plastic tab. However, do not remove the motherboard from the far right two standoffs. To remove the board, gently lift up with both hands as shown while working each standoff little by little to ensure the board does not crack. If you have an older model, you may have screws. Once removed, lift the board slightly and remove the z-axis cable from behind. Now that we have removed the old cable, we'll start with fishing the z-axis cable behind the motherboard. You do not need it under the plastic tab if you do not wish to do so. After you get the z-axis cable through, seat the ferrite connector in its holder and push the motherboard back onto its standoffs. Plug in the z-axis motor. Now we'll also plug in the large gray connector back onto the motherboard while ensuring that the gray tab is plugged in correctly. Seat the remaining X and Y ferrites into their holders and fish the X-axis cable through the upper left slot and then attach the extension on the other side. Place the plastic tabs over the wires and tighten the lock nut. Back on the upper right side, push the Y-axis cable through its respective slot. Replace the motherboard cover and reseat the hex bolts. With the printer still on its left side, plug in the x-axis motor cable and run both the end stop and motor cable through the y-axis primary's cable trough. Be sure to replace the pin with little force. Run the excess cables along the inside top of the frame above the y-axis rods as they were prior and zip tie them. Here you can see that I have shaped the end of the zip tie to resemble a hook shape so it's easier to fish through the zip tie holder. Once the zip tie is secure, cut off the excess and be sure that you do not cut either of the cables. Now run down the right inside and replace the cables in their plastic tabs as shown. Now we can tip the printer back upright and head to the back corner to the Y-axis motor. We will now plug in the Y-axis motor along with its respective plastic tabs. 
Replace the right side panel and tighten. Thanks everyone for watching. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, and follow us on Twitter. If you have any questions or comments, make sure you put those down below. Otherwise, for Fargo 3D Printing, this is Jake Clark. Make sure you get printing, stay printing, and change the world.